Previously, we took a little tour of the shady cybercrime that you could find within Telegram channels. We took a look to see what weird, wild, and wacky things people claim to be selling, or we would look at dark web onion URLs or Tor hidden services to see what folks are offering for malware or botnets or rats, remote access, trojans, and toolkits, and we ruffled a few feathers from some folks not too happy about hey, seeing their channel, their Telegram server up in a YouTube video. And you know what? It was a strange certain kind of fun. So let's do it again. So as usual, I am inside of Flare, which allows me to look out across the dark web, those Tor hidden services or onion URLs, or those illicit Telegram channels, and even the open internet, like leaky Amazon S3 buckets or GitHub repositories. And I could create some identifiers to look for anything about myself, my name, my business, my websites, anything that could help me track down some information or even cyber threat intelligence, like, hey, new things, new ransomware leaks, new vulnerabilities and exploits. But let's go toggle this to the global search and let's tweak our filters to not look for those hey typo squatting lookalike domains or leak credentials or paste bins source code google host buckets etc on the open net let's just look for those weird wild and wacky things in the illicit networks of telegram chats and channels now what i'm going to do is just search for anything everything. I want the funnel. I want to see what can Flare give me if I ask for just an asterisk, little wild card. What's the latest in Telegram cybercrime? So first up is some chatter in Doc's bin. Looks like the Russian rendition. Uh, these are all things that I can't read, but thankfully, hey, we got a little bit of some AI translate and summarize here, uh, and you can see all the banter. I wonder if there is an English version of Doc's bin. I think they did make a little bit of a resurgence. I know they were away for a little bit. Let me translate and summarize with the AI assist. Hey, this threat actor is looking for a large amount of information on a specific individual. The literal translation is who can find me a lot of information about one person. <laughs> Let's see what the AI assist in translation can get for some other posts here. Uh, looks like, hey, best virtual number service. Numbers do not get blocked. Awesome administration, reasonable prices. They won't let you get bored on our server for schizophrenia. <laughs> Oh, there is like an official maybe English docspin channel, I'm assuming. Oh, and hey, before we get too far down the rabbit hole, let me say, look, let me be clear. I don't mean to by any means be emboldening or encouraging or advocating for any of this weird, wild, wacky stuff. It is uh, inherently, you know, can be uh, cyber crime. So don't do that and don't do that. And really, that's it. Just don't do that. This is, as the trite saying goes, for the education's sake, pay for information, just for the awareness so you know what is out there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, they're chatting about some infrastructure changes. This looks pretty real. Here's a PGP sign message. It's been over five years since Brent and I created this platform to act as a place to upload doxes on those who act of ill intent. By the way, super quick context, if you aren't familiar with that term dox, like it's just doxing someone is to like leak or publicize all of the information that they possibly can about a person. Like they're full name, their address, their phone number, their date of birth, their social security number, if you've got it, their credit card number, their passport, driver's license, could be anything. Full information or fulls, the best that you could get out there. So if it's not clear, Docspin is a site to like literally upload and share and publicize all the information on a person, usually with like malicious intent to get back at someone. It's been over five years since we created this platform to simply upload doxes on those who act feel intent. It was never a question of if we can do it, more so a question of how long will it last? And Although we've had countless issues with hosting providers banning us, wonder why, law enforcement pressuring us and social justice warriors crying in our DMs, okay. We continue to uphold all our initial promise to make sure the people who deserve to be publicly shamed were publicly shamed. Uh, stats from the past five years, 110,000 valid pace, 300,000 pace comments, 180,000 users, 170,000 monthly Google clicks, and 29,000 Telegram subscribers. Sadly, it's time to relinquish ownership. We've not been doxxed, arrested, raided, or forced to depart. It's just our time. Anyone claiming to be any of us is not us. In light of this, we're announcing an ownership change. The new owner is known as Operator, also known as Driven Towards 2. Current staff will stay on the platform. Doxman is driven by you, the viewer, content creator, and journalist. Oh, crap. <laughs> Au revoir. Well, okay. Oh, an official chat's been created for all Russian speakers. That was what we saw. Um, and there's an English chat. Ooh, copy link. But yeah, I think this is when they had their uh, downtime. Docspin will be temporarily unavailable, no ETA. And that was uh, around February timeline. Let's take a look at the community chat. Send me please $10. No. Okay, no problem. <laughs> Doxpin is a dangerous virus. I can confirm it hacked my mini fridge. There's a lot of like vile, not okay hate speech in this. Uh, so 
that's not cool for YouTube and we're probably gonna bounce out of here real quick. <laughs> hang on, oh, hang on, there's some shenanigans. Can someone try to reach my website via VPN? Normally I block 90 plus percent of VPNs worldwide. Why block VPNs? Blocking VPNs. Only real IP can join to avoid hackers, trollers. Good hackers use proxies. Why are you guys just clicking on this link? It's safe, bro. Bro, bro, what's he gonna do? For real, for real, no cap. How did you make control you bypass so it won't work? Created a script by me. Even F12 doesn't work. Bypass the F12. <laughs> oh, how? I'm a good hacker. Good thing my SQL databases aren't hosted there, Lamau. ID admin password one, two, three, four. <laughs> This is content, not gonna lie. Who want free databases? Check my bio. Good lord, this place is a disaster. I got scammed for $12 million in your- <laughs> All right, I'm out, I'm out. Where did it leave, leave, done with that. <laughs> Here's some more shenanigans. This is Fraud Gods chat. A couple other hits from Money Mart, Pharmacy Market. Uh, what is Fraud Gods? Fraud Gods chat. And their picture is just $100 bills. What the heck? This is that? <laughs> no shadow bans. With auth token, Twitter followers, botting surface, $1.50 every thousand. What the? F <laughs> gift cards, God. Premium cheap gift cards. Premium chief gift cards, save money when shopping. Amazon gift cards, $100, $35, $500, $70. That's not how it, not how money works. They got PayPal, they got Binance, Apple, Steam, some gamers in the room. Credit card updates, 3,000 daily. We have credit cards from all over the world. Dude, how does this stuff exist? Like, I know it's, I know it's a, a, a lie. I know it's a scam, but how do people think that they can do this? <laughs> The best way to make money in 2023. Discover the world of fake crypto. <laughs> what is Flashcoin? Pray tell. Flashcoin is a service that allows you to buy fake cryptocurrency. <laughs> it wasn't already? <laughs> We're providing high quality social media accounts, cheap and fast. NFT crypto business luxury, personal male girl model babes from Instagram accounts. We only take crypto, not fake crypto. <laughs> oh, yo, this one has a video. There's a video here. No, I don't like it. I don't want to like it. Don't download it. What is he doing? Is he just calling a number? What the f What? What is this? Uh, link in bio for that. Big bands. Get all your free tutorials, bank spaz, cards, and free update. All right, this is just dumb. I'm going to leave. Fraud Gods chat, you are exactly what one would expect. Just garbage. This channel is called Get Me Bread. All sauces and SSNs available now. Like tomato sauce? White City Web. <laughs> all caps. I'm doing legit entrusted transfer to all country. Okay, okay. We are not getting any little hackers, uh, cyber shenanigans. So let's look for like something a little bit more lead. I don't know. Can we get like a word that's part of the old cyber kill chain or something a little bit more active? Exfiltrating. Here's the white snake chat. They've got some action here with little, oh, custom command and control endpoints. High priority when exfiltrating data. Got a Telegram bot token? Yeah, okay. Steal data, push it to Telegram, classic. I had pulled up the white snake chat because I thought that one would be fun. And here it is. Here is the white snake chat with some Netflix banned umchat cards for sale. Potentially buy web shells for remote access to uh, government websites. Is that .br? Is that Brazil? I don't know. This guy's giving me scammer vibes. Ask first or someone random as escrow. Easy solution. Don't buy crap in the first place. Oh, here it is. The 11.1 .1 discount for the white snake tool. Assuming that's a tool. Anyone in here work within a USA or Canada Steeler logs. Ooh, logs might be kind of cool. Maybe we could track down some uh, logs that are out and about. Oh, here, buying all Okta logs. Hmm, Okta's been in some uh, hot water lately. Want to buy logs for Facebook, YouTube, and PP who have to sell me, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and then they just go off, off the chain, people screaming, going crazy, swearing at each other, vile hate speech. Oh, you know, it just goes on and on. I can't show any of this. All rounder guy has some live spamming tutorials, classic notepad where uh, he's typing out what would be the tutorial with like that, uh, what is it, dream soundtrack in the background? <laughs> Hypercam 2 in the corner. <laughs> Look at these folders. Look at work shit. <laughs> what? What? Who would own this? Oh, more riffraff, people screaming at each other. Who's using Whitesnake here? Nobody is using Whitesnake here. <laughs> is Whitesnake a virus or a cryptor? It's spyware. Cool, dope, fantastic. My reaction right here. Could add a heart to that, like that one, fire. And then they just go off on like 
memes, gifs, and TikToks. This is how I like accidentally and unintentionally become like a React YouTuber. XQC, watch out. He's on Twitch. That, that, that joke doesn't work. What is this? Where am I right now? Is this supposed to be like a spyware cybercrime telegram channel? Or is this just absurdity? We're moving on. We're moving on. Look, we got VX Underground. Okay, that's pretty legit. You know, I don't, I don't want to I don't want to meme and troll on those guys. They're fantastic. Oh, the jacuzzi, they're still uh screaming and shouting, you know, as they do. Oh, Siege Sec. I think I've seen that uh around before. They have some banter, right? Oh yeah, Siege Sec does like for real hacks, right? They are like genuinely a threat actor. Siege sec. Oh, and there's their telegram literally in their Twitter profile. <laughs> Hundreds of domain hacks. Yeah, they got some silly ransomware teasers. And this is just Twitter. This is on like Twitter. Don't call it X. What if we straight up look for like advanced persistent threat or APT? I feel like if I search for the full words advanced persistent threat, I don't know what we'd see here. Um, but this could get like anything because APT is so broad like you could get apt the like ubuntu package manager app get aptitude what is this freshly updated logs logs arena there's an image here oh this is uh addresses of people let's redact that one hayden lowly sent a message in the swish refunding service that is a check oh this is the black hat cult what a name for a telegram channel only fans accounts for sale of course cc dropper probably credit cards for sure yep that's a credit card number more checks over in money mart fraud cartel aio crime that's the exact same picture yeah <laughs> yeah i told you i told you yeah <laughs> i told you it would literally get like app get an aptitude update <gasps> They have some code in here. Look, 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 look. They use a uh, package update. So like Termux commands, GitHub noob hackers infect, and they try and run the script. What is this? They install lolcat, so you know it's good. I'm going to it, I'm, I'm going to it. In fact, any Android device with virus from link in Termux. Infect. Infect is a bash script which is officially made for Termux users. From this tool, you can spread to Android viruses just by sending a link. Uh, oh, and noob hackers have a noobhacktube.com where you can upload your own videos for black hat hack. Phenomenal. What is the script here? What is the script? I'm going to dig into the bash script. Oh, they have a video. Never mind. <laughs> what the heck? They're on the YouTube. <laughs> Warning. This tool is for educational purposes only. Yep. Sorry. I, I said the same thing, my guy. This is our infect.sh. Be a unique person, not a copycat. Colors. Look at that ASCII art. You have to have that for a hacker tool. Note, copy the below link and send it to the victim and say nothing to it. When they install it on the device, it'll be a factory reset and a lot more will happen. Tiny URL updates new. Oh, there's a Bitly link in here too. Bitly, we can uh, use the plus at the end of it to see what it might be. Ooh, this goes to an Android Elite Virus Raw Master Hellboy.apk. By the way, what I did is I just added a plus at the very end of the bit.ly link, and that way it'll bit.ly will tell you, hey, where that redirect actually goes without going to it right away. Here's this Android Elite virus. What the heck? All right, we have fallen off of a cliff here. This APK is still up. I don't know. We could report this GitHub repository. Like, trying to download that will give you a virus warning. It's eight years old. But there are a lot in here, like this lazymux.python script, a seeker.python script, and these are, I'm, I feel like this would be worth keeping an eye on just to see what why wild and wacky stuff they post out and about and then just report them all. What is this? Verizon ATT mobile with pin and this picture is <laughs> no, no, they literally photoshopped like the guy Fox anonymous mask on this. I'm not editing this. All right. We have fallen down the rabbit hole for some weird, wild and wacky, uh, Telegram stuff. Again, maybe some cybercrime, maybe some scam, maybe just some stupidity. But uh, I think like that's always kind of fun to explore and uh, see what heinous, weird stuff is out there. Thanks so much for joining me on this safari ride tour. I don't know. Maybe you learned something. I hope you had sort of fun in like this entertainment education strange thing. It's always very weird to do this kind of video. But hey, I hope that does go to show what stuff is out there and the best looking glass that I had for that is Flare. Setting up some identifiers or just kind of searching through cyber threat intelligence, cyber crime, weird telegram stuff all on the dark web, seeing what information might be out there for you, your name, your business, your website, your domain, your company, your organization. Hey, if you're interested, take a look. Link in the video description if you'd like to check out Flare and see what more it can do for you. But goodness gracious, that's the end of the video. I'm tired of doing this and that's such a weird thing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.